Hi, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me at the Frankfurt Public Library's virtual story time. I'm really excited to be here today, and I hope you guys are too. We're going to have lots of fun, so let's get started with our welcoming song. Here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. We're all here for story time. A key, a key. the same thing in Spanish that we sang in the beginning in English. All right, so today I have my special mystery bag with me. Do you want to find out what's in our mystery bag? I do too. Let's see. <gasps> Oh, it looks like we have a whole bunch of stuff in here that begins with the letter B. We have a book, the backyard bug book for kids. We have a baby. Here. We have a book about boats. And we also have a block. Can you think of any other things that might begin with the word B that you have at home? I know I can. I can think of bananas begin with B. And bathtub begins with B. There are so many things that can begin with the letter B. All right, are you ready for a flannel story? This one is called Baby Duck, Baby Duck. So Baby Duck, Baby Duck, are you in the, what color should we pick? Should we pick yellow egg? Let's see. Oh no, it's not Baby Duck, it's Baby Pig. All right, Baby Duck, Baby Duck, are you in the green egg? Let's see. No, it's a dinosaur. Next one, Baby Duck, Baby Duck, are you in the gray egg? No, what is that? That's not a duck, that's a doggy. Baby duck, baby duck, are you in the red egg? <gasps> no baby duck there, that's a baby elephant. Baby duck, baby duck, are you in the, what do you think, pink or orange? <gasps> I think I'm gonna go with orange. <gasps> There's baby duck. He was hiding behind the orange egg. Let's see who's behind the pink egg. Oh, we have a caterpillar. Look at that. Say bye, baby duck. Bye. All right, boys and girls, I want you all to stand up with me. We're gonna do the bunny hop with the Mother Goose Club. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. You can pat on your legs. The bunny hop. <laughs> hey, I know a game. Let's pretend to be different animals. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play too?
you for doing that with me. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, everybody. Now it's time for a story. Here I have a story called Be Wigged by C.C. Bell. It's about a bee named Jerry who really wants to make friends. Let's open it up and see what happens. But, oh wait, I have a friend here who wants to sit and listen to the story with us. It's Bonnie, Bonnie the ballerina. B for Bonnie and B for ballerina. Let's set her right here on my lap and she can listen to the story too. Hi there. Jerry B loved people. But people did not love Jerry B. For one thing, he was a bee. For another, he was the most enormous bee anyone had ever seen. A sting from a bee Jerry's size would really hurt. So people stayed away. It's true that Jerry was quite large, but he had never stung anyone in his entire life. In fact, he had tried hard to make friends, but nothing worked. One morning, Jerry saw an old wig lying on the sidewalk. <gasps> Why not, thought Jerry, and he put the wig on his head. Just then, he heard a bus driver shout, Young man, you're late for school. The bus driver stopped her bus, opened the door, and hollered, Get in! Jerry got on the bus. Wow! This wig makes me look just like a boy! When the bus stopped, Jerry made a beeline for the school. He couldn't wait to make friends with all the people inside. Jerry entered the first classroom he could find. Excuse me, ma'am, he said. My name is Jerry, and I would love to join your wonderful class. And might I add that you are looking quite lovely today? Miss Swan was the first friend Jerry made that day. The students really liked Jerry too. He was helpful, funny, artistic, and generous. He was even a terrific speller. By the end of the day, Jerry B. had made more friends than he had ever had in his life. So Jerry decided to come to school every day, and every day he made more friends. One day, he helped the janitor mop. The next day, he complimented the lunch ladies on their food. Jerry inspired the cheerleaders with his remarkable team spirit. He even won over the bus driver. By the end of the week, everyone loved Jerry so much that they made him the Grand Marshal of the annual school parade. Jerry B was ecstatic. He couldn't believe how much the wig had changed his life. Then the wind started blowing hard. The wind blew Jerry's wig right off his head. He tried to catch it, but he was too late. Everyone saw Jerry without the wig and everyone saw that he was the most enormous bee they had ever seen. Wait, shouted a voice. Please wait. It was the wig. I am Wiglet, a very hairy guinea pig. I have had the honor of sitting on Jerry's head for a whole week. Yes, Jerry is a bee. Yes, Jerry is enormous. But I have never seen Jerry sting anyone. Jerry is helpful, funny, artistic, and generous. I am proud to call Jerry my best friend ever. Everyone was quiet. And then, hooray for Jerry B! Hooray for Wiglet! Hip hip hooray! Everyone shouted. It was the best day of Jerry B's life. At last, he could be himself and have friends. And Wiglet would be his best friend forever. The end. Have you, any of you ever felt like you were afraid and worried that people might not like you for who you are? I know I have. 
But the best thing that you can do is to be yourself. Be kind and generous and helpful, just like Jerry B. And people will like you just the way you are. All right, boys and girls, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me for our virtual story time. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you come back next time. So here's our goodbye song. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Go a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big moon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye-bye.